These are the second generation AirPods. They look almost identical to the originals, which is why I like to call them the AirPods 1.5. However, they do offer some key improvements, including Apple's H1 chip. It offers support for Bluetooth 5.0, as well as always on Siri. Hey Siri. The base model remains at $159 to get the long-awaited wireless charging case, which charges up on any Qi-compatible charging mat. You'll have to pay an extra $40 or $199 total. Meanwhile, owners of the original AirPods can buy it separately for the not exactly a bargain price of $79. The only way to tell the two cases apart is the addition of a tiny LED on the outside of the wireless one and the placement of the pairing button. That illuminating dot lets you know that the case is charging, however, it turns off after a few seconds of the case being on the pad. The new H1 chip helps facilitate the AirPods' other big new feature, the widely expected addition of always-on voice recognition. That means that instead of double tapping one AirPod to activate Siri, you simply say, hey Siri, to activate Apple's voice assistant. It worked quite well in my tests with zippy responsiveness and it just might get you to use Siri more often if you don't use it that much right now. You can still program double tapping to activate Siri, but most people will program it to skip tracks forward and back. While there are no volume controls on the AirPods, you can now just tell Siri to lower or raise the volume you can also tell her to skip a track faster connection times between all the Apple devices you own and 50% more talk time, one hour more, compared to first generation AirPods. The battery life rating for music listening remains the same at five hours, which helps mitigate any battery life concerns. Apple hasn't made any claims about sound quality being any better for listening to music. It's about to noise isolating earphones. When you put them in your ears, they don't sit in the exact same position, so it's a win, so you can have a conversation outdoors and people will hear you better. When it comes to music listening, uh, these guys still don't quite measure up to other competing models that have better bass and richer sound overall and also sound better in noisier environments. Uh, but when it comes to making calls, they are top notch. Like the original AirPods, these also work with Android devices and other Bluetooth devices. However, certain special features Siri uh, will not work with those devices. Ultimately, this is an incremental upgrade. The new changes do enhance an already excellent true wireless headphone. If you are looking for bigger changes, um, better fits that's coming out. So what do you think? Would you buy the new AirPods? Let us know in the comments.